Welcome back to the Burning Empowerment of Your Soul blog series. This week, we delve into week eight, Deliver from Fears. I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all of my fears. Psalms 34, four. Now, soldiers, fear can hold us back, but with faith, it can be conquered. This week, we'll learn to break free from the fears and the grip and embrace its cur- embrace courage and resilience. Soldiers today will say might fear anything from physical injury or illness, to job insecurities, to difficulties in their relationship, to even political collapse, to threats of incoming nuclear missiles and wars everywhere, and everything in between. However, faith replaces fear. The Apostle Paul did not fear an upcoming trial that might result in his execution, but he knew that the Lord could remove all anxiety when we pray. He counseled the Philippians in Philippians 4, 6 through 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts. You, you, you've been living in the shadow of fear for way too long, soldiers. So ask yourself, why are you still allowing fear to dictate your decisions? What? What if you took a leap of faith instead? What if you embraced the challenges before you with courage? and determination. That's just imagine. Imagine a life where fear doesn't hold us back, where, where you're not paralyzed by what is and the uncertainty. It, it, it's time to fight. It's time to fight through the fear, to stand tall in the face of adversity and to conquer every obstacle that stands in our way. Now, come on, listen closely. to to those voices of doubt and fear. Are are they telling you that you're not good enough? Mm Mm-hmm, I know. Uh, That that you might fail? Yeah, we all heard that. If you try, but it's time to silence those voices once and for all. For you are gifted, you are talented, and you are capable of achieving greatness. But none of that even matters If you let fear control you, life is a battleground and the fight of your life is happening right now. Are you ready to rise up to the challenge? Are you willing to put up your dukes and face fear head on? You've got to understand something, soldiers, that fear will try to stop you at every turn. It will whisper lies into your ear, telling you, that you're not strong enough, that you're not smart enough, that you're not even worthy enough, but you are more than powerful than you realize. Huh, you have the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind within you. Feel the fire within you ignite as you listen to the words of Eric Thomas. He says, Fear, you are not going to stop me. I'm not listening to that voice. I, I'm not listening to fear. I'm going to remove. I'm going to move by faith. I've come too far to give up now. Now, also in, in a sermon titled "Keep It Moving," the fear factor, Bishop T.D. Jakes highlights the profound impact fear can have on both the body and of the mind. He emphasizes that living under constant fear can take a toll on your physical health, weakening even the immune system, affecting digestion, and damaging the cardiovascular system. O.T.D. Jake describes how fear triggers the body's fight or flight response, diverting blood away from the essential functions that it's supposed to do and towards survival instincts instead. Now, moreover, he delves into the psychological effects 
of fear. Explaining how it distorts even the perception and judgment that we have. Oh, fear, fear can even lead to irrational thoughts, paranoia, and even anxiety. Ultimately hijacking the brain's normal functioning. Bishop T.D. Jakes warns against the long-term consequences of fear itself, su such as post-traumatic stress disorder, where triggers evoke past traumas, causing exaggerated reactions even in the present time. So we got to push past these things because the ser this sermon that he, that he preaches touches on the relational aspects of fear and how it can strain marriages and our relationships, driving people away due to perceived threats and triggers. OTD Straits illustrates how fear can distort reality, leading individuals to sabotage their own happiness and progress out of misplaced sense of self-preservation. It's amazing how we can just think that what we're doing is preserving ourselves and yet we're actually hurting ourselves. So despite the challenges posed by fear, T.D. Jakes encourages his audience to keep moving forward. He emphasizes the importance of resilience and faith in overcoming these obstacles, urging the listeners not to succumb to fear, induced by paralysis. Uh, through prayer and perseverance, he believes that individuals can break free from the grip of fear and move towards the blessings and opportunities that lie ahead. I believe in that same thing, people. In, in, in his closing remarks, T.D. Jakes reassures his audience that God is present even in the midst of fear and adversity. He urges them to trust in God's plan and to rely on his grace which is always sufficient to carry us through life's challenges. With faith and determination, T.D. Jakes believes that individuals can conquer their fear and fulfill their destiny. Walking into power and glory that awaits them, that only God can deliver himself. But when we let fear take over and control, God can't deliver those things because we block those blessings that could be coming our way. So remember, greatness lies within you, but you've got to be willing to fight for it. You've got to be willing to push through the pain, the doubt, the uncertainty. You've got to be willing to fight your way through every obstacle that comes your way. Now think about it, soldiers. Come on, think about it. All the times that you faced adversity in the past, did you back down? Come on, did you give up? No, you had to fight through it. You had to keep pushing forward, no matter how difficult it seemed. And look where it's got you. Now, your past struggles have made you stronger. That they prepared you for this. The things that you're going through, even in the moments right now. So don't give up. So don't give up now. Don't let fear hold you back from reaching your full potential. You, you've got to be willing to push past and go through all these different difficulties. I know it's hard. I know there are days where you may feel like throwing in the towel, but remember, come on, remember, you, you've come too far to quit now. You've overcome obstacles that would have broken lesser individuals, but not you. No, 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 not you soldiers, not us. Come on, we don't do that. You are unbreakable. You're unstoppable. Because the God before us, then who can be against us? Come on. So let's just join this burning empowerment of your soul community. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel. To burning empowerment of your soul on YouTube. And immerse yourself in a world of inspiration and motivation. Hit the subscribe button for your regular dose of empowering content that will ignite you, your fire within you. Click on the bottom right and you'll be connected with us. Follow us even on Facebook at empower.your.soul2023.
for uplifting content and vi this vibrant community engagement. Join the conversation and become not only a part of the community, but just become what's a part of a membership of empowerment, of, of empowering each other. You can even contact us if you got questions or suggestions burning in your mind. You can reach us at empower.your.soul.2023 at gmail.com. We're here to support you in every single portion of this journey, in your personal growth and this impersonal empowerment was in journey. Now, here's the story. In a small town nestled in the heart of North Carolina, there lived a young boy with big dreams. He spent countless hours shooting hoops in his backyard, imagining himself soaring through the air like his basketball idols that he knew. Oh, despite his undeniable talent, the boy faced rejection everywhere he went. Coaches told him that he was too short. He was too inexperienced. He was not even good enough. But he refused to let those words define him. Determined to prove all his doubters wrong, he, 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 the boy poured every ounce of his being into his craft. He practiced day and night, tirelessly, pushing to the brink of exhaustion every single day. In, we'll say in the daytime and even throughout the night. Where, with each and every setback, he only grew more and more determined to succeed. As he matured, the boy's skills on the court became undeniable. He possessed a rare combination of athleticism, skill, and determination that set him apart from his peers. And before long, yeah, before long, the basketball world took notice. He, he rose through the ranks, dazzling fans with his electrifying dunks and clutch performances. With, with each game, he etched his name into the, into the years of basketball history, cementing his status as one of the greatest players of all time. Yes, but it wasn't just his on the court prowess that made him a legend. It was his unwavering perseverance in the midst of fear. The fears that he faced even in advers adversity. His refusal to let rejection define him. He embodied the spirit of resilience, inspiring millions around the world to chase their dreams relentlessly. And so, as the boy from North Carolina soared to the unimaginable heights, his name echoed across the globe and throughout the world. His name was Michael Jordan. Yes, we all know the name. And he had become the symbol of hope and of perseverance and the power of never giving up to your fears. So when fear tells you that you can't do it, when it tries to convince you that giving up is the better option, look into the eyes and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will not break in the midst of this fear. Listen, before you even break me, you will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. It's time to embrace possibilities of what lies ahead and not what was in lies behind. It's time to believe that success is not just possible, but it's inevitable. It's time to fight for your dreams with everything you've got. So I challenge you, yes, soldier, I challenge you to embrace the fight, embrace the struggle, embrace the fear, because on the outer side of fear lies victory. And you, my friend, were born for be you you were and you, my friend, were born to be victorious. Never stop, never give up, never give in. Keep fighting, keep pushing forward, and never forget that you are capable, matter of fact, you're more than capable of achieving anything that you set your mind to. It's time to rise up, to stand tall, and to conquer your fears once and for all.
Are you ready for the fight? Come on. Are you ready for the fight? Come on, soldiers. I pray by now in this session, you should be motivated and ready to tackle the next challenges and the next things that must bring fear to your mind. And you're going to tackle them fearlessly. So, as you continue on this week, I want you to take care of my friends. Take care of my family. I'll see you back next week, Monday at 12 p.m. for the next episode. God bless.